Hi there, welcome to the next video. And in this video, I will show you, or at least I'll say, I'll start the series on the lambda function. So lambda functions are a special case or a special function which you can write in just one line. In my previous videos, you have seen that we have used the DEF keyword to define a function and then in the body of the function, we added the logic. But here you will see how you can write the function very quickly with the help of the lambda keyword. All right, to start with, I'm starting very basics. And what I am doing is, I am simply showing you the function which will multiply two values. So multiply is equals to say lambda to, uh, to basically infer that you want to create a function which is lambda and specify its uh, necessary required argument. So we need to pass on two value to multiply. So x comma y, right? And then after the colon, we need to specify what operation we want to do. So that was, that is basically x multiply with y. And if you see, it's very, very similar to your function. It's just that it is written in one line. So instead of def, we are using lambda. And then to pass the parameter within parenthesis, there is no parenthesis, but we are passing to parameter x comma y. And then in this, is of, we are passing the colon like we used to do in the function. But uh, after the, and after the colon, we are specifying the, the operation in the body of the function like we used to do it previously. All right. So if I execute that, there is no issue. And if I say multiply 2 comma 3, it will give me the output. Similarly, whatever number I want to specify, it will give me the output for that number, right? Another example I will show you is the power oh, maybe and lambda and again x comma y, we will raise it to that power based on that value and the power that we are specifying and x cap cap or star star y. And now if I say power, 2 comma 3 so that should give me the 8 right so this is how you can specify very easily lambda functions on your uh, straightforward or not so straightforward uh, in later stages we will see the complex argument also but for now uh, we can create these simple functions to harness the power of lambda function that creates this in one line Initially, it takes time to really understand that what is going on. But once you get used to of it, uh, you will find it much more easy uh, than the normal function because that's easy to create when you are doing the coding and uh, helps you get the quick, not the quicker, but efficient output in terms of uh, in just one line you are writing the code, which is becoming an integral part of the code and not like a separate one, which is a function. So that's very quickly i wanted to give you an intro about it even you can if you have a need you can even uh, do the string concatenation even you can apply the complex uh, calculations functions and other things we'll see that in in next uh, couple of videos about how we can really do that so that's pretty much all for the lambda function and i'll meet you in the new video related to uh, what next is there with the lambda function